Wow, that is really, really cool. I'm joined by Dr. Aaron Parnes. He is at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. What do you do there? Yeah, so we build all different kinds of wall climbing robots, like the one you just saw. This one is inspired by cockroaches. How is it inspired by cockroaches? <laughs> so on the wheels, it has sharp hooks, okay. and those are similar to the sharp spines that cockroaches have on the bottoms of their legs. And why, why cockroaches and not like spiders or? Yeah, so cockroaches are really amazing because they have such a small brain, but they're still able to climb. So their feet are not doing any thinking, they're just flailing around and they still work. And so it's a mechanical intelligence is what we call it. And it's not just cockroaches that inspire your work either, because you've got some other things here that I know have been inspired by other yes. uh, animals. So I would say geckos are probably nature's most amazing climber. And they climb using lots of tiny hairs, nanoscopic hairs on the bottoms of their feet. And you have an example here. Is this, can you show us yeah. how it works? So this is a thousand times the size of our robotic gecko hairs. It's about 100,000 times the size of what a gecko can grow on its feet. And if you put this on the surface and push it, you'll see that only the tips are making contact. But if I pull in the preferred direction, you see it's got a high real area of contact and it's sticky. So geckos do this as they climb, where they weight their foot um, to make it sticky and then release that weight and they can take the foot off. They do that 10 times a second. If you were trying to climb with duct tape, it might be sticky enough, but you know, how do you get it off? So why is NASA interested in this? Yeah, there's lots of applications. We wanna grab satellites to service them, repair them, refuel them. There's also a lot of space garbage that we'd like to grab onto and move out of the way. Um, or you can envision a robot that would crawl around on the outside of the space station doing inspection and repair. Do you want to show us how this works? Yeah, absolutely. This is an example of a gripper we sent to the space station. The astronauts tested it. If you squeeze together, it's loading up these springs and that'll put the adhesive in its preferred state, so it's sticky. And then if you squeeze together again, it comes off. Now, this is the same material that's on this and I don't feel hairs or anything on here. That's right, it's too small to feel with your hand um, and it's a geometric effect. So it's not sticky to the touch like tape or glue. It's using Van der Waals forces, which are uh, this uh, small force between molecules that get really close together. It's incredible that the gecko uh, came up with this idea. That is really interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, my pleasure.